So tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do with Dogs Without Borders. My name is Betsy and I have lived in LA for about six years now and I work with Dogs Without Borders and do most of the rescuing. So tell us what's involved when you go out on a rescue. Every day or maybe like three days a week I go to the shelters and I walk through and I look for the dogs that are in need of adoption. It's hard because you can't save every dog and there's a lot of dogs that are really sad and really in need of love and they're just not, you know, they're not gonna be saved. And that's a sad fact is that you just, you cannot save them all. So once you get over that, then, you know, it's, you have to get over it if you're gonna do what I do. You can't walk in the shelter and bawl your eyes out every time because that's not productive either. Yeah. That was the hardest thing, and that was the biggest shock to me. Being not from LA and coming to LA was the amount of animals is just unreal. It's like, what is happening? What are people doing? What are people thinking? So that's very alarming to walk in and see like, I mean, there's 15, 20 animals in a cage. Where do you see the problems being? I think it's the lack of education on spaying and neutering. I think it is the amount of people that are still breeding. And it's really fun to get a cute little puppy and then all of a sudden the cute little puppy grows up and it's not so cute anymore and now it's work and now it's, you know, oh, this dog has to go for walks, this dog has to be fed, this dog has to, you know, be part of the family, which we've expanded with kids. So it's really simple to give up a dog, but it's not too simple to give up a kid. So I think that's the biggest thing. And then people don't spay and neuter, neuter their dogs. So all these puppies are out wandering around the streets. Nobody's licensing their dogs. So, cause that costs money. So it's just, it's just a cycle that it, it never ends. So what are some of the solutions as you see them? As it's a process, it goes from shelter to foster parent to adoption. So the biggest thing that we need is foster parents because that's what saves the dogs. Yeah. Um, the more foster parents we have, since we don't have a facility, we rely solely on foster parents. So uh, the more foster parents we have, the more dogs get saved. A foster parent is the most crucial part of Dogs Without Borders. A foster parent basically just gives love and provides a safe environment for our dog until they find their forever home. We provide food, we provide medical, we provide um, supplies if they need it, we provide a crate if they need it, we provide education if they've never had a dog. Um, so it's pretty simple. All it takes is you opening up your home and your heart and you know, giving a safe environment to this new little friend who might be in shock. You know, they can do it for a couple of days. They can do it for a couple of weeks. They don't have to pay for anything. I mean, why not? What is Dogs Without Borders doing to combat some of the problems? We have adoption events on Saturdays and Sundays, and they are held at uh, pet stores. One's at Tailwaggers, one's at PetSmart. And basically we bring about 20 to 25 of our adoptable dogs there, and we showcase them and we advertise it on Craigslist. Uh, we advertise it on our website and people come and they can walk them. They can bring their dogs, they can bring their kids, they can, um, you know, have take them out for an hour or two, come back and decide if they'd like to adopt them. Or they can come and see if a dog is in need of fostering. If there's one message that you wanted to make sure we got across in the film, what would that message be? Spay and neuter your pets and keep them inside, enclosed and not roaming the streets. That's what I would say. Tell us, how could someone get involved with Dogs Without Borders? If you guys want to get involved in Dogs Without Borders, here's what you can do. You can go on our website. You can like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, you can foster a dog, you can volunteer, you can transport, you can help me recruit fosters, you can adopt one of our beautiful, amazing, loving little pups. 
Hi, my name is Betsy Rue and I work with Dogs Without Borders Rescue Organization and I want you to support the film Conversations with Pitbulls because that helps every single rescue and every single dog. So please support.